Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64. This is part 11 of my playthrough of Pokemon Emerald. So in the last part, we made it all the way here to Fall Arbor Town, even though I was trying to go to Lava Ridge Town, but apparently I can't go there yet. Because there's a sandstorm blocking my way, it seems. Let's uh, talk to the townspeople then, I guess. Have you already challenged Flannery, the leader of Lava Ridge Gym? The girl's grandfather was famous. He was one of the Elite Four in the Pokemon League at one point. It wouldn't surprise me to see Flannery become a great trainer in her own right. Okay, then. See, take a look. This is my precious Az Azuril. It's looking smooth and plushy, too. Okay. Something's happening, and I don't like it. I've seen shady characters wandering in and out of Professor Cosmo's home. Alright, who is Professor Cosmo, then? Somebody in here? Yeah, Professor Cosmo went off to Meteor Falls on Route 114 with some people from Team Magma. Okay, then. Team Magma. Who could that be, exactly? I know there's another Battle Tent. I'm not going to challenge the Battle Tent just yet, however. I'm the Move Tutor. I know all the moves that Pokemon learn, every one of them, and I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can teach you move the Pokemon of yours if you'd like. I'll do it for a hard scale. I'm collecting those now. Pokemon need to learn move. Come back with a hard scale, so I don't have a hard scale yet, so... Okay, then. Uh, there's no gym in this town, it seems, but there is a Battle Tent. Okay. Those trainers, I'm not going to fight. Maybe I'll come back for them later on in the game. By the way, in that crater right there, I found a nugget. So, I just went and sold that very quickly. Alright, we got three badges. Um, yeah, actually, my bag. I bought a guard spec. I bought some super repels, so, yeah. I also found another max ether in the last part. And, uh, I found a hidden uh, hyper potion as well. It was a hidden item. Um, bought some more escape ropes, I bought an extra X attack, bought some more super potions because I had to use some of them in the last part. Well, off screen anyway. While I was defeating that ninja boy, I mean, I had to use one of my super potions. Um, okay, I think that's everything I got actually. So I guess there's not, not really uh, anything else left to do in this town except go on to the next route, Route 114. Let's go and do it, I guess. Fossil Maniac's house. Fossils gratefully, gratefully accepted. What is this? My big brother is the Fossil Maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole by himself. You can have this so you can dig holes just like my big brother. Alright, Team 28, which is obviously dig. Okay, what's going on down in here? For some reason, I can't run down here. What are you? I'm the Fossil Maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belong to me. None for you. If you can't bear to go without a fossil, look in the desert where there are boulders and sand that may hide fossils. Okay, then. I can't go there because, well, there's a sandstorm blocking my way. And pretty experienced. I guess I'll battle you, then. Battle you. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I'm there, even if I'm fishing. Obviously, I don't think it's required, but... I've been kind of reluctant to actually uh, cut my videos now. As in, like, cut cut the recording, and then, after I defeat the trainer, uh, start recording again. Oh, Barboach. We haven't seen that Pokemon yet, I don't think. But yeah, so... I've been kind of reluctant to do that, because I actually found out that it, if I cut the recording, like, too much, like, too many times... The video ends up going off sync, so... I'm sort of trying not to... put too many... make too many cuts in my videos now, so... With Hypercam 2 itself... and Pointless Critical. With Hypercam 2 itself, I mean, because I cut my videos with Hypercam 2 itself. Like, not with Sony Vegas or anything. I like to battle, it doesn't mean I'm good at it. Yeah, because editing it, like, editing it Sony Vegas with cuts is fine, but with Hypercam 2, apparently not. Uh, there's another fisherman. Are you a trainer? No, you're not. All my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares to come near me. So if you would, please take this TM away. Alright, TM5, which is roar. Basically, if you use it, I think it just randomly switches out your Pokemon. A roar sends Pokemon scurrying. Well, in a battle. If you're using it in, like, a wild... A wild Pokemon battle, then... Makes the, uh... 
opposing Pokemon go away. The wild Pokemon makes them run away. Okay, digs underground. Savage Roar that makes the foe flee to end the battle. Yeah. Okay, this is power 60, accuracy 100. No, actually. Wait, Sableye is able to use that? What about Geodude? Uh, what moves does he have? Rock throw. Throw small rocks. Power 60, accuracy 100. Power 50, accuracy 90. Maybe replace it with Dig? Yeah, how about we actually try that, maybe? Okay, there we go. Apparently Sable I can use it. Sable I can use a lot of weird moves. Apparently. I haven't used Sableye in a battle yet, but... Okay, there's an item over there. I guess I might as well fight you for the experience and also the item. Me, I'm not just a pretty face. What are you then? What else are you? Exactly. By the way, that's a weird looking Pokeball. It almost looks as though it like melted in her hand. Like seriously, that's what that looks like. Okay, Nuzleaf or Nuzleaf. It doesn't affect Nuzleaf. Okay, we're taking Combuskin out here then. Okay, then obviously Nuzleaf must be part Dark type or something. If Psychic type moves don't affect it. Ember. Yeah, there we go. That's done. He's done. Alright. Okay. And Tentacle gets a lot of experience. Alright. That wasn't cute in the least. Okay then. An energy powder. What is that? What exactly is that? Let me see here. Uh. Bitter powder that restores HP by 50 points. Okay. Might come in handy. And, ju yeah, just for fun, I'll battle you, I guess. I land a big one, a huge one, I'll tell you. Well, I was just going to come up to you and battle you, but... Okay. Another Barboge. Sure enough. Okay, fine then. Water Spore, which just lowers... Lowers the power of fire type moves, so that's not going to be too threatening. Curly out here. Okay, done. Alright, what was that about? The mind losing Psy is. No, just lost in intelligence and skill. Okay, let me just fish a bigger one. I don't want a Pokemon that's just cute. I adore cute ones that have a quirk or two. Okay, good for you then. Item finder, possibly? No. No? Okay. Uh, doesn't seem to be anywhere else to go except down here. Actually. No, you know what? I think I'm fine for now. I'm not gonna heal up my Pokemon. Alright, this is a bridge. Obviously. I'm battling them for the experience. If we were fishing, you wouldn't stand a chance against me, so bring on your Pokemon. Well, I guess I wouldn't, because all I'm catching with the old rod right now are just magic harps. Oh, excuse me, right when I say that. Really now? Wow. Okay, he's using Goldeen. That's a slightly better catch. I don't remember Goldeen having that cry, though. Meow. Oh, I confused it. <clears throat> no, we used horn attack. Okay. Alright. And he's using Barboach last. Mainly battling them for the experience, but... I'm gonna try to level up my Pokemon a bit. Alright.
Okay, that's done. All right, the few fishermen cloud. If I if we were fishing, I would have won. I think I'll try my luck at landing a big one at Meteor Falls. There has to be something there. I just know it. Um. Well, I kind of want to see what's over there, so I guess I'll go right past you. I guess. No. Nope, yeah. Item finder is responding. Okay. Then. 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 Probably over here. No? Why? There's like a ledge here. It's probably pointing... Wait. Was it pointing to that item up there? It's pointing to that item up there, wasn't it? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Well, I was pressing the A button in that in that part of the ground, and it wasn't working. Okay. We gotta revive to stay alive. That's what I'm just calling them. That's what I'm just calling them now. Revives to stay alive, because that's basically what they are. If you die, you come back to life. I guess technically potions would be to stay alive, but... Um, okay, guess we have to go around then. Um, out of curiosity, what kind of Pokemon are in this tall grass before I use one of my repels here? What we got? Swablu. Okay. Looks like a flying type, but... Interesting. I don't really know a lot about Swablu, but... Okay, I'm just gonna use one of my, uh, one of my repels now. Okay. That guy doesn't look like a trainer. I love using the Berry Crush Machine, it's only collecting berries, I'll share one with you if you like. The Bluk Berry. Or the Bluck Berry. You should try the Berry Crush Machine with your friends. How many berries do I have now, anyway? Oh, excuse me, how many berries do I have now? Oh, excuse me. Okay, raspberry, poke block ingredient. Blookberry, poke block ingredient. Oh, it almost looks like the same thing like, uh, the raspberry. It actually just looks like a bunch of grapes, if you ask me. Okay, then. What is this, then? Lynette's house. What is this? OSCP-173, I'm sorry everything's so cluttered. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this a secret in exchange for this. The Lotad doll. Alright. Last research note information about boxes. Design boxes to hold 30 Pokemon each. Each trainer should be able to store 420 Pokemon in the PC system. Organization should be added to make Pokemon easier. Organized name, wallpaper design of each box will be made changeable to please the stored Pokemon. When storing Pokemon should be sent to box expected glass, that box is full to receive when I must turn to the next box. In other words, when a box is examined, so I'm actually selecting the box which Pokemon are sent. Alright, good. Interesting to know. Alright. Let's see here. Guess we're gonna go down here then. Um fine, why not? Just go right past them. Uh, is there anything over here? The Fell's effect wore off, kind of, I already knew that. Um, something up here? Item finder? No. Why is this even here, then? Okay. Here's our item. Oh, we got a protein. Um... Actually, I already don't remember what the proteins do. Alright, raises the attack stat. Well, who has the lowest attack right now in my entire party? 26, 56, 33, 23, 35, 43. Okay, looks like Tentacool, but... I'm not just gonna use them just yet. Tentacool's a bit underleveled anyway, so that might change. 
with each and every level up. Looks like we have no choice but to go up here, so... I shall battle you for the experience. If you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. Alright, we got Bernie. And of course. Right when it has one HP left. And of course. Okay, well I poison it as well, so it's probably going to take it out. Yep, done. Okay, then. And tentacles leveled up. Alright. Very good, then. He's about to use Wind Goal. I'm not going to switch out. I guess just in case, I might as well use one of my super potions here. Not too worried about poison right now. Okay. And that was a critical hit, of course. Alright, that's it for Bernie then. Thanks for dousing my fire. You set my spirit on fire, let's register each other. Okay then. Alright. So now let me look back at the experience share. We're all at level 21, who's closer to leveling up, however? Who's closer in terms of experience? 997. 943, so technically Geodude's closer, so... Okay. Let's keep it going down here, then. Uh, this doesn't look like it required double battle, but I will... Eh, I'll make it a double battle just for fun. If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. Have you made your Pokemon evolve very much? Well, that's what I'm trying to do, and I know for a fact that Geodude's going to evolve in very soon, actually. Hiker Lucas and Picnic Angelina on a battle. Okay, we, oh, we G Geodude and Lombre, of course. Wait a second, that might not be good for a Buskin. Okay, how about I try experimenting here? Yep. Okay. Oh, that took it out. Fine then. What else do you have? Numel? Okay, that's... Okay. Okay, Lombre's just using Growl, so I guess Combuskin's fine for now. Um... Are using it on that maybe? Oh wait, no, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have did that. Darn it. Okay, how about I try taking out Lombre first? However, well, I almost did it. Yo. Uh -oh. Okay, well, I don't think that's going to be good for. Uh... Okay. Oh wait, that didn't even do a lot. Okay, I thought it was super effective against Combuskin, but apparently not. Um. Confusion on Lombre, just take it out. Double kick on Numel. There. Alright. I think I will use Sableye again eventually in one of my battles. One of these battles, I mean. Okay, there. That worked out just fine. Oh, they have one more Pokemon. I spoke too soon. Confusion. Double kick. See if this will work. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope Confusion takes it out. Poss possibly. Possibly. Sure. Okay, there. Okay. And that's it. The mountains are unforgiving. Oh, I see. That's good to know. 
Okay, I'm becoming more used to double battles, I'll definitely say that. I've never really been used to double battles in, uh, in Pokemon games, just to be completely honest with you. I'll go right past that guy. But like I said, I'm kind of battling the trait Yodelay, who... You're supposed to shout Yodelay, who, since it doesn't echo here. Wow. I'm kind of battling the trainers here just for the experience, mostly, so... It's basically why I'm doing this. Okay, Geodude. That's mainly why I'm doing this. Okay, that's done. And Machop. Uh, let's see if a confusion will take it out. It's psychic type, so. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that took it out. And Geodude grew to level 22. Alright, good. Very good then. Hiker Lenny has been defeated, and he's just yodeling. Okay, when I was a wee tyke, I believe there was someone copying me and shouting back Yodel Ehu. Well, interesting. I knew it has an item. Oh, Great Ball, thank you. Sableye's closer to leveling up, so now I'm gonna give that to Sableye then. Take, and give to Sableye. I will eventually use them in battle again, but... Especially Sableye. Break this rock for fun. Yeah, it's just a secret base. Alright, Meteor Falls, Rustboro City through here. Oh, going back to Rustboro. Alright, well. How about we go in and explore anyway? What's going on in here? Okay, well, there's a crater here, of course. Of course, there's Zubats. Okay, I'm actually gonna use one of my super repels now. I said there was a crater here. Okay, there's nothing in it. There's an item. Another full heal. I already have quite a few of those, however. Oh, wait. Yeah, full heal. Okay, then. Let's go through here. What is this now? Actually, I guess maybe just in case I'll use one of my super potions. On Curlia. What is this exactly? Yeah, hey, with this meteorite, that thing in Mount Chimney will... Hi. Eh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you can have your way with the world. What is going on here? Even Team Aqua joins us. It's much too trouble to deal with you all. Hey, it doesn't matter. We got the meteorite, so off the mountain. I mean, we go. Hey, I'll be seeing you, Team Aqua Dingbats. Oh, excuse me. This charges right through me. Didn't I see you before at Slayport's Museum? Ah, so your name's SCP-173. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. Hmm, you're one odd kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They are rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. And I get interrupted yet again. Boss, we should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, yes, we must. We gotta hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. SCP-173, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma, too. Farewell. Okay. I was thinking we had to battle them, but no. Are you Professor Cosmo? Yeah. And Cosmo and Professor T Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my Meteor right away. Then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? Hmm. Interesting, we'll have to find out. We got a Moonstone. Alright. Uh, down here, I guess. What the heck is all this stuff? Oh, it appears to be squishy. Yeah, I can just go right back up, okay. Actually. No. Okay. Let's just go back out then. Alright, Route 115. Fall Arbor Town through here. Oh. Hi there. My strongest skill is busting bricks with my forehead. Oh my, you're so special. 
Black Belt Knob. <laughs> it's kind of a funny name, Knob. Okay. Confusion. For super effective power. Boom! Done. It was kind of a delayed boom, but anyway. Wow, that's it. Ah, my head is busted. Sure is. You impress me. Give me a research re rematch after I redo my training. Why do they say research? I am saying the weirdest things today. Okay. What's over here? Okay, another item. Another great ball. Any trainers down here? No, but some more berries. Well, actually, yeah, there are trainers there. Pick the three block berries. Alright. Go around then, I guess. Alright, got the block berries. More block berries. Hell's effect wore off, I don't care. Oh, we got a PP up. That's good. Raises the PP permanently of a certain move. Are you a trainer? No. Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You never know when wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of suspense. It's full of trolling, more like. Full of troll tactics. Oh, okay, we're, that's just going back to... Rosporo. Wait a second. This looks familiar. Or is it? Wait a second. Yeah, we're back in Rustboro. Wow, okay. I don't know what why what exactly we're doing back here. Okay. Okay, well, we're all the way back here, so let me see here. I'm assuming the next town we have to go to is Lava Ridge. And we've already been at Mauville. We need a Pokemon to know Surf. We don't have Surf yet, though. Mauville. Or wait, that over there goes to Fortree. Hmm. And that's Lava Ridge. Hmm. Okay, this is strange. Hold on a second here. Okay, I actually went back to uh, Mount Chimney here, and those guys that were blocking the way to uh, the cable car here are now gone, actually, so we can go to Lava Ridge Town finally. Okay, so, yeah, so they're gone now. Alright, at least that's good. Cable car's ready to go up. Would you like to be on it? Sure, please step this way. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, there's a volcanic ash that looks more like snow than it does ash. When we must be... What, what? 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 What is this? What is this? What is this? If they expand the land, there will be less habitats for water Pokemon. Pokem Pokemon. Wow, why am I saying things so weird today? We're going to keep making more land. Okay. Two Puchianas. Lighting, I guess. Jagged Path, but they're blocking the Jagged Path. What is this? Some weird looking tree is. Hmm. Oh boy, what is going on over here? What's going on here? SCP-173, I should have guessed you showed up. See for yourself on what the Fanatex and Team Magma are up to. They're trying to inject the stolen meteorite's power into the volcano. Drink something like that will cause the volcano's eruption. Wow, they're everywhere. Meteorites pack amazing power. That annoying Team Aqua, they always mess with our plans. You better not mess with us, we're trying to awaken that thing for the benefit of everyone. Hmm. What about you? We're Team Magma, they're Team Aqua. It totally annoys me that they use a name like ours. We're Team Aqua, they're Team Magma. It burns me up they use such a confusing name. Oh, this guy's fine. Darn Team Magma numbers us, we can't keep up with them. Yeah, that was some in fire. Okay, wait, this is to Lava Ridge, isn't it? Okay, hold on. Or wait, is this where I have to go? Well, I'm assuming it is, so... I don't know. Oh, we're up here. 
Okay, wait a second. I just want to check very quickly just to make sure. Please ride with us another time. Okay, I guess this is where I have to go then, so... I guess very quickly I'm going to save here. No, no, this is just kind of confusing me a bit, I'm sorry, but... Okay, I guess over here? Yeah, there appear to be trainers here, actually, so... Alright then. Um... Okay, well, I've actually been timing how long I've been recording. Uh, we made it up all the way to the mountain here, so... I think we actually have some pretty some pretty tough trainer battles coming up, so... Um, I think I'm actually gonna end the video off here, because I think it is getting too long anyway, so... In the next part, I guess we'll figure out what the heck's going up, going on here on top of this volcano, so yeah. But I think I'm done for now, though, so this is Dr. Robonix64, thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video, or maybe subscribe. And also feel free to follow me on Twitter, as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to there. The link to my Twitter account's in the description of all my videos, including this one, so yeah. In the next part, we're gonna see what's going on on top of this volcano, then. What's really going on, so yeah. But I'm done for now, so we'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later!